Hello and welcome to Tor Nukato. Kato? Kato? Is that how you say it? Or is it Tor Nukato? Anyways, that's the game we're playing today. Late one winter. Late one winter polar night. You find yourself unable to sleep. Awoken with a strange, uneasy, uneasy, uneasy feeling. With your mother fast, whatever. With your mother fast asleep, you decide to move to the living room. With not much to do, you start reading an old book you found at the town the bookstore late that day. Sorry. Yeah, again at the book over here. All right, let's do something illegal. Off to the book of death. There it is, the book of death right there. The Tornuktu is an evil creature originating from Alaskan folklore. Its physical form is described as having both human and reindeer characteristics. It has the head of a reindeer, but with human teeth, which wrap around its entire face. It has the body of a man, but with hooves for feet. Its skin is pale white, but is covered in black fur, and it has eyes that glow in the night. It is said to be especially tall and on its hind legs and capable of walking like a human. However, it is also capable of galloping like a deer. It can travel at high speed in an almost floating manner. Oh. That sure sucks. Alright, time to go to bed. Oh, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. What are you doing, kid? Why, why do you stay up? There's more. Polar night. The Tornuk, the Tornuktu is said to only be seen in the months of November through Janu January. During these months, Alaska experiences a time of darkness, also known as polar night, where the sun ceases to rise. It is believed that Tornuktu is unable to attack outside of these months due to weakness to the sun. Once the polar night starts, the Tornuktu is said to be starving and will begin its hunt, invading people's home and eating them. It is believed that Tornuktu targets those who build their homes far from others is secluded places first to be sa first to be safe from an attack from an attack people should live closely to one another and now it's here to kill me and the mother yo I don't know where I get more lore it's probably gonna say the Tornuktu loves to eat children. It's gonna happen. Why is this area dark? Is it always dark? I don't think I saw this place. No, I think the book changed. Well. It's time to die. Let's go, idiot power! Yay! I mean, that's his mother.
Come on, coward, where are you in this video already? Why is there a snowman? Do I have to walk around? Oh no, is this where I die? Oh no, my back is turned. I do hope a deer doesn't eat me or anything like that. Gosh dang it. Why did they make this game so long? Oh, I have to close the door? Trap me. It actually did. It, it trapped me. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Okay, let's do this right. Uh, oh, no! The mother died. At least I'm assuming that's her. Is my death not here yet? Probably is not. It'll probably mention the lovely children, then I'll die, so... It's gonna come out of that window, so... We hide from it. Yeah, this, this is great. The sign Tornuktu is near. is finding snowman-like figures, which are said to have faces of the dead. They smell like human corpses. It is believed such figures will surround a house before the Tornuktu attacks. Another sign in Mytopedia is excessive feelings of fear or distress with no direct cause. My mother's end! Oh, my time to die. That actually spooked me. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Not, not many games like this managed to do that. The Tornuktu also carries a bag made of fur, which it uses to steal children from the house it attacks. It is unknown where the children go when they are taken. Some say the Tornuktu eats a soul to attain immortality. Others, that it keeps them to eat throughout the rest of the year. Ah, torture. Where are you at? Huh? Come on, coward. I'm open. Mom? Mommy? <sighs> it is believed the only way the Tornuktu can die is to starve to death. So once it finds a house to attack, there is nothing that could be done to stop it. Alright, that'll be it for a Tornuk 2 
I'm thinking about making it shorter because, you know, a game like this should not be 10 minutes. Other than that, bye and have a fun time!